Hey YouTube Gundam here. Welcome to Eve Online. I went to show a little something. Yes. Okay, I have. Ooh, I do have one of those. I could have sworn I had a support ship. I don't remember what it's called. Let's see. Capital. Capital. There we go. It looks a little better. Minakawa. I could have sworn I had a Minakawa. I do. An Aonenen. Only a little away. But today we are going to look at the devastation. <laughs> Which is you can see is very very big nice little elevators in the back there that's awesome there's some of the engines there's where some of the weapons are supposed to go i literally cannot look any further so in order to get a good visual on this i have no choice but to undock no locals before i do yeah, there's nothing on it. The ship is 5,137 meters tall. It's giant. I'm not sure exactly where the bridge is, but you can see like, these are where the guns are supposed to be. Oh, there's supposed to be this gap in the middle here. Mm -hmm. That'll be important. But also, the back is... There's things that go out away from, like, the central spine, but aren't connected. Ah, that's good to know. There's some engines there. Yeah, I said I wasn't going to use this, and I'm doing it anyway. So it looks like there's weapon points down there. Mm hmm? I'll be fine as long as I stay near the space station. There's only six people in local. Then I immediately stop. Alright, so you can see the engines. There's a bunch up here, looks like. Some way down there. Some there, some there. So, yeah. This is the Nagalfa. It's, I believe, the only uh, Minmatar dreadnought. I'm going to double check. <coughs> Actually, I gotta just double check on that. Okay, I'm docked. And take a look at the Kaldari and see. There's the Phoenix Dreadnought for the Kaldari. And there, Minakawa, Wyvern, Chimera, Titan, which I can fly. I have flown one actually. That was brief. That's fun. Oops. Okay. Uh, Mimitar. Yeah, I don't have much for the. Oops. <laughs> I don't have many unlocked for the Mimitar. Uh, no destroyers or anything. I'm mostly a Kaldari guy. I don't have their freighter, which is not surprising. None of their other capitals, but I do have the Dreadnought. So, okay then. Good to know. Yes, I have the Dreadnought. I'm sitting in it. Oh, those elevators. Okay, yeah, they are absolutely elevators. Which makes sense on a ship that big. So, this is important right here. So, this massive area up top, and then a kind of a gap before massive down there. That's a ram scoop. That thing's a ram scoop. Oh, cool. But then it's just hollow to the back again. It's safer to dock in 
low sack space. And take a look down here. It's just all hollow. These are just things that go back. Hmm. That's very thin to down there. And again, hollow in the back. Good to know. But not up top. And then there's this in the middle. Hmm. So I'm... Yeah, okay, so I, obviously I'm not going to build exactly this, that's not going to happen. I think that might be the cockpit, or that's the cockpit. Whichever, it doesn't matter. But I'm not going to build that when I build it. I'm going to build something else. I'll make an interpretation of this, but seeing that's good. And if I stay inside the ship, it'll be okay, even if I lose Omega. That's okay. So, I'm going to be building this thing. Which is, I think, going through the floor. That is just silly. I kind of want to make this because it's my Kaldari Dreadnought, the Phoenix, big boy. I had a lot of fun in my Dre Kaldari Dreads. And you can't even see the whole of the rear of the ship. Is there no fitting? No. Hmm, okay. What about my Chimera, the Kaldari Carrier? Insufferable. <laughs> what visuals is that? That is awesome. <sighs> Nothing. Kaldari Carrier, and there's the Amar Dreadnought. So, yeah, there's two, a uh, Kaldari Carrier, Kaldari Dreadnought, a Minmatar Dreadnought, and a Mar Dreadnought, which, let me guess, has no fitting, of course. So, not Galente. I don't even think I have a Galente ability. The Galente Federation here. Yeah, I believe the Galente have the least, though I have... Yeah, nope, none of their capital ships. But clearly I can sit in the other's dreadnoughts, but... I don't know why. Oh, that's right, because I was told to get a Hyperion one day. Uh, I do... Uh, Iteron 5, can't complain. I just cannot complain. But I do not have that. What do I need to sit in this? Galente Dreadnought. That's it. Galente Dreadnought is a available for 220 million. No, thank you. So, I'm building this thing. Yeah. Solar panels, I can add those. <coughs> so, I'll get started.